Yeah, it's fraud, oh. everyone. Listen, it's fraud, everyone. I can tell you how to do it. Stop masturbating for a couple months, bro. Jesus, stop and this one's not blind. All right, what's good, guys? Welcome back to Sidemen Reacts. Today, it's myself, Josh, and Ethan reacting to lies you still believe. We still Josh, believe. <laughs> We hey. still believe. One one that you you believe, uh, Messi's better than Jay Links. That's a common one. <laughs> common one. Uh, I thought he was going to say Ronaldo and cool yeah. up, Rob. <laughs> you should say Jay Links. <laughs> it's no secret that the world is full of lies. In fact, there are tons of so-called facts that almost right, everyone still believes about sleep. anything mm. from ancient history mm. to the human body. And I'm the about to debunk body. some of the biggest fibs around. Oh, the biggest fibs. Oh, the biggest fibs. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. Canine coincidence. When you think about wolves, what springs to mind? A, a full moon, perhaps? Oh! That image because wolves don't clear, howl mate. at the moon at all. Hear me out. <laughs> the nocturnal canines do howl as a way of communicating with each other, and sometimes the moon yeah. is full, but they have no business directing all that racket at the moon itself. In fact, oh. wolves mostly howl in complete darkness. It's just that we oh. can't see them doing it. There's a couple of reasons why the whole howling at the moon idea might have stuck. <laughs> Firstly, howls are more easily heard. I don't think I've really cared about it. <laughs> that wasn't a lie that I believed. It. It was just... <laughs> Secondly, our ancestors usually ventured I've outside learned something, the moon actually. when there was I didn't a full moon because they could yeah. navigate better in the moonlight, which is probably when they mostly stumbled across howling wolf bags. Spotlight. Moonlight. Rude awakening. We've all heard this one before. You should never, ever wake a sleepwalker. Except you totally can't. That's right. Oh, There's practically oh. no scientific or medical evidence to prove that giving oh, a sleepwalking well, that's that one, a gentle yeah. shake oh, is one, going okay. to cause that's, them that's to one, drop one, dead one as a result of a heart attack or pure fright. Of course, being abruptly awoken while unconsciously brushing your teeth or attempting <laughs> to get into the bathtub at 3 a.m. is enough to spook anyone, so it's probably not the on. nicest thing to do. Sleep experts actually recommend trying to gently guide a sleepwalker back in the direction of their own bed without uh, fully waking. Hold the head. That's nice. Think of it like herding sheep, except it's your granny in her favorite <laughs> nightgown. Hmm. Oh, nice. Brain sides. Oh. You remember that one girl in our class who could paint flawlessly while your portraiture looked more That's like that? She probably brushed it off because she was just programmed to be more right brain than you. Meanwhile, anyone good at math or science must it's have a stronger brain. left side. Simple enough, uh. but turns out that's all lies. It's, it's a fib! Two separate hemispheres of our brain are responsible for different functions. But the idea that someone can excel in all things creative or analytical just because they have a more dominant side is total nonsense. Just the left brain, 100 Because a team of neuroscientists mm. in 2013 Lots analyzed brain. the work of over Lots a brain. thousand brains Lots belonging lines to participants brain. aged 7 to brain 29 brain. and found no evidence that any one person relies more heavily on one side of the brain than another during daily tasks. Both uh -huh. hemispheres actually work in tandem and complement each other like yet and yet, Meaning we're all pretty much ambidextrous when it comes to using our heads. Uh, see, look, wait, lift it. Second look, memory. See, brain. Anyone who grew up with a goldfish oh, no. as a pet will know one thing. They are not the most interesting animals. You might have even used the, the phrase fish. memory of a goldfish before because of how sieve-like their brains are. People often <laughs> cite the common goldfish as having a That's minuscule three-second memory, <laughs> but they actually have more brain power than us humans give them credit for. Various what? experiments have seconds. actually proven that goldfish can have a memory of up to five whole months. Oh, jeez! Oh. Hey, do you know what, though? That fish. makes sense because I thought that was like fried chicken nuggets on the right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, that's hungry. I thought, right I, thought I thought they'd fried a couple goldfish, bro. I'm not even lying. Because I remember seeing a video of some Don. He was like chucking his goldfish into a tank. It would swim back and sit in his hands. It was like playing fetch with itself. <laughs> like, you know when you chuck a kid up in the air and they're like laughing? like. Yeah, ah. fun. It was like that, but yeah, yeah. Like he would chuck the fish like gently. It would land in the water, then swim back to him and go in his hands again because he wanted to be video. chucked. Bro, I'll try find it. I'll try find it. But yeah, still, someone get me some chicken nuggets. Data sound played through a loudspeaker with feeding time. After no, being just, left to I, their I, own that devices deep fat for oil, five bro. months, the sound was played again, and sure enough, the fish returned right, for feeding. Out. Turns out your humble oh, goldfish isn't geez. actually seeing the world for the first time with every new lap of the fish bowl. Does he say so bold? Tomato no ketchup. Next time you what? reach for the ketchup, consider this. Your favorite condiment originally had nothing to do with tomatoes. Back in the 17th Whoa. century, there was no such thing as ketchup. 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 There were, ketchup. however, plenty of Europeans rampaging through Asia and sampling all there was ketchup. to eat and drink. When British invaders returned home from South Asia, there was a big <laughs> sauce bottle shaped hole in their hearts. The distant memory of ketchup, <laughs> or ketchup, as it was known overseas. Ketchup. This distinctly savory condiment was probably uh, something along the lines of fermented fish sauce, but yeah. no one could uh. remember exactly what it contained. 
For some time, attempts to replicate ketchup included a whole cocktail of strange ingredients like walnuts, mushrooms, fish brine, garlic, anchovies, and kidney beans. Tomatoes were only nice. eventually thrown into the mix in an 1801 recipe book by Sandy Addison. All that was left okay, was Sandy. to butcher their name and wait for Heinz to begin mass producing the adulterated sauce in 1869. And Heinz voila, ketchup was born. Covered in bread like Harry a portion hopes. of fries. You've likely heard at some point in your life that shaving unwanted body or facial hair will only make it grow back ten times thicker. But those are just Ooh. the words of someone trying to sabotage you before a first date. Yeah, it's fraud, everyone. Listen, it's fraud, everyone. I can tell you how to do it. Stop masturbating for a couple months, bro. Okay, so and this one's not that. lies. Tell bro, you, I, why, why I, bro, you told JJ that? Toby, the reason I got my beard when it started coming through is because I'd stopped fapping, bro. I'd stopped fapping. Is that a myth as well? Now look. That, now? That, that makes sense, though, because testosterone levels. But I want JJ to try this now. No, JJ could never know fap. You, can, you can go a day without. No chance, bro. Does, does that surely yeah, not bro, he, require... He like full on abstinence then. Well, at the time I wasn't seeing any women. Toby, so. <laughs> yeah, so I'm stopping. Yeah, 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 stop. It's no release of a jacklet. So yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, I, man, listen, I was an animal at that time, bro. <laughs> I was, I was eating weights, bro. Eating weights. Well, that's actually true. Nah, that's what I was about. Not boxes in it as well, for like uh, testosterone for training. Yeah, before camp. Yeah. Oh. No, nah, trust me, bro. I was out here, and then my face, boom, beard. Let's go. The reason hair might that, seem more visible as it starts growing back is simply that shaving gives hair a blunt tip, which feels coarser and can initially look thicker or darker. If Jeez. hair is sprouting exponentially every time you shave, you might just be a werewolf. Yeah. Nailed it. Sure. On the topic of regrowth, your fingernails do. don't all grow at the same rate either. If you've ever noticed that a couple of nails seem longer than others, despite cutting them all at the same time, you'll probably know this already. Each nail grows at its I own really pace, and nails on really longer fingers nails. like the index or middle grow far quicker than those on the That one's a given, fam. You're not a computer game. You're not all just going to progress at the same rate. slower than <laughs> fingernails. So you can slack off a little longer before you start looking like the Gruffalo. Yeah, I, scientists I, I, actually I, I, think blood flow is what beating. stimulates nail growth. So you might also <laughs> notice that take the nails beating, on your bro. dominant hand need trimming but more often. But my feet often. is grim. <laughs> Killer coins. Ah. Picture this. You oh, just climbed okay. to the Jeez, end. Jeez, Empire State Building, yeah? Yeah. As you watch the people below scurrying around like tiny ants, you take out your wallet uh -huh. and wonder, if I dropped a penny right now, would this it kill evil. someone? <laughs> Sorry to burst your psychopathic <laughs> bubble, but no. It wouldn't. Despite what people say, a penny it is too hurt, small though. and flat and cushioned by air to become Death a little hurt, yeah. hundred, even when dropped from the top of the Empire State Building. You see, as the penny falls, it collides air with air molecules, been. causing something called drag force, yeah. which counteracts the force of gravity and slows down its acceleration. When the two forces balance out, the penny reaches what's known as terminal velocity and will basically yep. flutter to the ground like a leaf. Being struck would feel like a mere flick on the forehead. Just as psychiatrist oh. Lewis Bloomfield. In 2012, he the allowed fruit. himself to be struck by pennies dispensed from floating helium balloons to replicate <laughs> the effect of there a penny <laughs> falling from a skyscraper and said it didn't hurt at all. Oh. Jeez. Midnight Munch. I mean, it's fun. There's nothing quite as terrifying oh. as the well known eat, fact eat eight that the average year, person consumes whatever. eight spiders oh. in their sleep each year. Not only That's is this crap. statement false, Ugh. it's built on a total web of lies. Whoa. Firstly, ah. logical reasoning shows uh, that spiders uh, are in no uh, habit please. of confidently wandering into human mouths. Most people don't even sleep with their mouths open. And if they did, a wet and windy cave is hardly the first place a spider wants to be. <laughs> we also sleep so restlessly that any small movement would be like an earthquake for a tiny arachnid. So where did sure. the myth originate from? Most sources refer to an article published in 1993 by journalist Lisa Burgett Holst who cited the fact in a list of urban legends. People started misquoting the article as truth, despite Hulse clearly mm. stating it was a myth, and the oh. rest is history. But that's not all. Hey. No amount of digging will turn up this article, nor the journalist who wrote it. In fact, the name Lisa Burgett Holst is a perfect anagram for the phrase, this is a big troll. Meta, right? Oh. Seeing What's... red. That's quite cool. Here's a familiar <laughs> image. A matador waves his red cape, and before you know it, steam yeah, the red's is nothing to do with it. I knew this. Ears and yeah, it's I heard this one Do all bulls have a vendetta against the color red? Quite the opposite, actually. They can't even see it because they don't possess the necessary yeah. red cone in their retina like us humans. The reason what? for their aggravation is simply the fact that someone is repeatedly waving a piece of fabric in their face. Yeah, that would be yeah, up for yeah. <laughs> God's sake. Still, one question remains: Why red? Traditionally, the cape would be used to hide the matador's sword, which he would use to pierce the bull as it charges past. Red was selected oh, because it was the best color to mask the ensuing bloodstains and to save on dry Jeez. Mm. 
monkey to man. Makes sense. Ah, evolution. Isn't it Humanoids! How chimpanzees Neanderthals! <laughs> ...and progress through various hominid forms before arriving... Hunter gatherers! I am... I, am, I, I think I'm still in the Neanderthal. That's how it happened. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. But Darwin said that's what went down, right? Well, it's true that Darwin explained our close Jeez. relation to primates in his groundbreaking book, The Origin of the Species, in 1859, but he never actually claimed that we descended directly from the treetop-dwelling creatures. Darwin may oh. not have proposed such a linear progression, but he did emphasize that humans and primates both evolved from a common ape-like ancestor that lived millions of years ago, before Jeez. it diverged into two separate species. Of course, yeah. tacky bumper oh, stickers, t-shirts, and memes just wouldn't be the same without the oversimplified monkey to man progression we're so used to seeing. Bro, man like Neanderthals. To pee Show my Neanderthals. To pee. If you've been stung by a jellyfish on vacation, everyone knows that you there's only on one thing to do. Unzip your pants and pee on the sucker. Hey, Unfortunately, me. research like in 2017 shows that this drastic action <laughs> will do nothing besides attracting some unwanted attention on the beach. <laughs> in fact, it could make things worse. Jellyfish tentacles have millions of tiny lances embedded inside something called Ugh. nematocysts, which launch stingers into your skin and let yeah, loose a stream that. of venom. Contrary to popular belief, urine is too diluted to have any effect on removing tentacles <laughs> properly, and trying to scrape them off afterwards will only cause them to become embedded further. There's only yeah. one saving grace in all this doom and gloom. Vinegar. The highly concentrated uh. stuff is the only real thing proven to deactivate the That's jellyfish stings like so you can safely remove mm. the tentacles. If it's you remember to pack like some in your beach bag, that is. Yeah. Who built the pyramids? <laughs> aliens! Aliens! The fucking aliens! Aliens! The, the, <laughs> the advanced civilizations before us! We are the beginning! We are frauds! We are nothing! If you try to I'm cast your mind back <laughs> to the construction of the Great Pyramids of Giza in around 2530 BC, Giza. you'll probably conjure images of slaves working tirelessly in the hot sun and carrying more uh, weight in stone than their backs can bear. Possible, According it? to Egyptologists, though, this scenario has been wrongly popularized by Hollywood movies and isn't at all historically accurate. In 1990, yeah. a tourist happened across the well-preserved tombs of those who labored on the monumental construction project. Archaeological analysis revealed that a Around 10,000 poor builders from the north and south of Egypt banded together out of basic loyalty to their pharaohs. Although they were free men, the work was still extremely grueling, and it took yeah, years did. to complete one pyramid. Yeah, the of course, fact that they those did, who bro. died during construction were buried in the tombs near the pharaoh's sacred pyramids also proves that they were well respected. Advanced civilizations, bro. Before uh, we're frauds, bro. We are we are frauds. We are merely the beginning, bro. We are a tiny speck. Where did they go? We are Where useless. Do you they went? Ah, oh, I don't know, bro. Yeah, they went to better planets, bro. They fuck off. They found a better planet to live on. Bro, they dipped out the ends, bro, or something, man. It's fucked. Listen, I'm telling you now, it's corrupt, bro. There's like fucking bits of like, Josh, you know it as well, isn't it? There's like different pieces yeah, of material Josh. in there that all conduct <laughs> conduct electricity and shit, bro. It's fucked. I'm telling you now. The stone you can't get it in Egypt or something, right? Exactly, bro. You can't get it in Egypt. Like, like what is it? Like limestone or something? And it's not. Yeah, it's not. Bro, it's, it's not akin to Nile or something. It's like it has, they've had to travel it all the way down the Nile from somewhere else. I bought that much and ten 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 thousand don did that, yeah. <laughs> Clowns. Yeah. Never. I don't <laughs> believe Imagine, in imagine it's world. like a civilization, like an alien civilization, where that's their like flag. Like, see how we put a flag on the moon? They just go yeah, and put, put a pyramid, pyramid down. down and then dip. You know, they, just, they, just, they show we've been here. Like that's what it is. And now they look at it. They look at it and they say, "Look at these fucking idiots." To be fair though, in, in, in Egyptian um, um, drawings, they <laughs> in the hieroglyphics they have cats, right? They worship cat, cats. Yeah, yeah, cats. Yeah, are yeah, so yeah, what if the cats yeah, were the aliens? Us, man. Our parents and their parents weren't around for it, bro. So we just believe the world's little lies. We are insignificant beings. We are useless. We are specks of nothing. False right. forbidden fruit. You'd be hard pressed to find anyone who'll tell you one. that the taboo snack that caused Adam and Eve to be eternally banished from the Garden of Eden was anything other than an apple. Nowhere in the Bible Jeez. is the forbidden fruit officially it's identified. Fruit, so how did such a fruit. humble it's fruit, fruit gain a reputation for bringing <laughs> death and disease upon the human race? <laughs> in short, a good old Latin pun. When the Bible was originally translated from Hebrew into Latin sometime in the 4th century AD, the word molly, meaning evil, was used to describe the tree of good and evil. It, molly it the closely tree. resembles the words mala or malum, which can both be translated to mean apple. In the original scripture, though, the words aren't even close. The Isn't it funny that the world Genesis runs off like scriptures wrong, and stuff? While the words used for apples in Proverbs 25.11 and Song of Solomon 2.3 is Tapawak. This means that the serpent basically could have offered up anything from figs to pomegranates or avocados. 
Oh, what a millennial twist that would be. I'd like to apologize for my rant there. It's, the <laughs> it's okay, Ethan. It's okay. We understand. He's having his existential crisis all over again. I didn't, I didn't need to do it. But Ethan's been lied to too many crazy. times. Please, one like on this video will help the trust issue. That's a lie. <laughs> yeah, it's a lie. He's lying. <laughs> I'm not. Anyway, I'm not do you I'm trust not. Ethan? That's the question. All right. Bye.